What is going on everybody? It's Monster Chappy. We're back for some more 2K My Team action. And in this game, this is actually the first game in the third seed. And if you win the third seed, you unlock Kevin Durant. And that's definitely who I want to get, seeing as I'm trying to put together a all Blazer slash Thunder squad with a couple Toronto and Pacer players. Just basically a combination of the teams that I use on a regular basis uh, with regular teams. So no old school guys, um, no overpowered Jordan, no... Wilkins or LeBron or you know some of these other really good players in my team I mean this dude Jordan literally can just do whatever he wants <laughs> he is the goat and uh, he's definitely one of the goats on my team I mean the stuff they just allow this guy to do is just crazy it's like a combination of the 90s Jordans with the young Jordan before he was winning like you got the dunking from the young Jordan and you got all the skills and all those types of things from the uh, the Jordan that was getting all the rings so uh, he, he's pretty much just a beast <laughs> he's pretty tough so um, with the team we've got we're definitely gonna have to fight hard though I mean again we don't have all the greatest players but we've got players that are good enough to compete and to hold their own and yeah there goes Jordan again <laughs> he is pretty tough man but Delfino manages to find a way in the lane it's a little layup there. We get a little bit of luck right here. This is like a really fluky score. Like those are those scores I don't feel good about. And if you're playing and that's how you score, you shouldn't feel good about just because it's not good offense. Like, you know, if you want to win on a consistent basis, um, you know, score more efficiently, score more effectively, um, you know, get less turnovers and those types of things, you can't feel good about those types of scores. I mean, sure, you'll take them. And there's going to be some 2K fluke that pops off all the time. I mean, right here, LeBron just goes over three defenders. He's pretty OP, too. But, I mean, great players are going to do what they do. And you really can't get mad, you know. It's, it's one thing if Mo Williams comes in and goes over a few defenders, then you're going to be pretty frustrated. But when it's LeBron, KD, Jordan, you know, one of those elite players that pretty much everyone has a stacked squad of on my team, uh, you know, you just can't get too upset. I mean, it's frustrating as heck, no doubt. But, you know, you just can't get too mad about it. You know, it, it's just they're great players. So they're going to do what they do. They're going to make plays. But, you know, if you really want to be consistent and um, score efficiently, eh, shoot a higher field goal percentage, and, again, just get less turnovers because turnovers, man, they really, really add up to some points for the other team in a bunch. And that's how you can end up losing by a lot or losing a lead or things like that. Really, is going to come down to turnovers and bad shots. Uh, because if you shoot uncontested shots on a consistent basis uh, and things like that, you're really going to have a lot better chance of getting the ball to go into the hoop. Um, 2K really works on a, a contested shot basis. If you get a contested animation uh, most likely you're gonna miss unless of course you have one of the superstars and that doesn't mean it's a good shot with the superstars I mean there's plenty of times guys will go in the lane with Jordan or LeBron and it'll be a bad shot but you know they'll do what they do and make a play like right here it just really went over five or four defenders right there but you know you get shots like that with Jordan that's gonna be cash money all day long so you're gonna be a little bit better off getting those uncontested shots because even Jordan and LeBron and them will mess miss some contested shots and uh, again for a higher more consistent percentage you want to get as clean as a shot as you could possibly get get those perfect releases and um, your shots are going to definitely fall in on a pretty consistent basis given that you're shooting realistic shots I mean you don't want to be shooting threes with Shaq or nothing like that that's just a really extreme case but just to point that out too I mean you gotta know your players ratings if he's got a good mid-range shoot mid-range if he's got a good three shoot threes and uh, if they're good at driving like Jordan and them definitely take advantage of that as well so NBA playoffs comes to a conclusion the Spurs are the champs congratulations to them not gonna bash the heat or anything like that I mean they had a good run four championships uh, appearances in a row won two of them so that's definitely not bad um, it was a little bit on LeBron it was a little bit on the rest of the team they just got outplayed and um, you know a little bit probably from being just tired like exhausted mentally and physically four seasons straight in the finals um, a lot of people don't realize how much of a toll that takes on you and then continuing to get that drive within yourself to just say I really want another championship I mean when you've been to four straight, you just won two in a row, 
Um, yes, it'd be nice to get that third, but at the same time, the Spurs were really, really hungry. And they seemed like they wanted it a lot more. They just lost to the Heat. And uh, Kawhi Leonard, man, that dude's game has developed a lot. Uh, I called it out last year that he's going to be probably the star on the Spurs in the next few years. And uh, it's already looking like it's sort of heading into that direction already. But this is going to conclude this game, guys. It's about to go down. My man Blake Griffin is able to lay it in. Right there, we get an uncontested layup animation. And we get lucky as heck because Michael Jordan misses a, a pretty good contestant contested shot but you know that's Michael Jordan clutch time you're usually gonna expect him to hit that so we catch a break and we're able to get the W Lillard's holding it down for us is able to make some really good plays and able to just do enough for us to be able to finish this game strong I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay as well as the commentary let me know your thoughts in the comments below and until the next time it's more monster chappy we gone